And in the UK, one university is developing a new and innovative way to build violin strings. Postgraduate students from Imperial College London claim that by using spider silk, the sound of the instrument can be vastly improved. If anything is going to make Stradivarius roll in his grave, it's this. The violin the musician is playing has a secret ingredient: spider silk. The violin's creator is a postgraduate engineer from Imperial College London. Spider silk has probably the highest propagation velocity that, that I ever had the chance to, yeah, to discover. Let's say uh, it is due to uh, his very very high elasticity. And uh, and also his let's say fairly low density. The makeup of the instruments is 70% woven silk and 30% resin. According to Alessandrini, it's a material that can even challenge carbon fiber. He chose violins because they have a strong traditional history of craftsmanship. The silk came from the Oxford Silk Group, a body of researchers at Oxford University who are studying the biology of silks in minute detail. If you look closely below the bridge of one of the violins, you can see three strands which are embedded in the body. These are the spider silks. They are 35 centimeters long and run along the entire length. I decided to place them under the bridge, following the suggest of some good luthiers from Cremona that collaborated to this project, um, in order to basically uh, changing the propagation velocity on the top of the violin, and also due to the fact that uh, spider silk is a is an extremely strong material, it is able to uh, balance the complex system of uh, stresses that are constantly acted inside uh, inside. Uh, a violin, such as we have the pull of the string uh, to the, that are pulling to the bottom, and uh, only with a tiny amount of it is able to balance this. Alessandrini admits he was aiming to be provocative and controversial in choosing such an iconic instrument. At last, it's time for the musicians to strike up with a cheerful and celebratory folk song. Bernard on the left is playing with a spider silk violin and is convinced there is a distinct difference in its acoustics. I feel like it's、uh, quite a nice alternative because it's lighter than mine, and、um, we carry around a lot of stuff <laughs> during the day, and、um, so it's a, it's a nice alternative. But generally, I would.、Uh, More go with my wooden because it's a bigger sound. It's louder. The aim of the engineers, though, is not really to make violins. Alessandrini is hoping this is just the beginning of discoveries which can potentially revolutionize the acoustics-related industries and increase our use of bioengineered materials. Liu Wenwen, CCTV.